Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what are the different types of user inputs we can receive using scanner class? Using scanner class, we can collect the user input while the program is getting executed. So as part of this process, we can receive different types of user input from the user using the scanner class. So for receiving the string type of input, we can either use next or next line predefined methods of the scanner class. And to receive the integer type of user input from the user using scanner class, okay, we have to use next int predefined method of the scanner class. And to receive the Boolean value as a user input from the user while the program is getting executed, we can use next Boolean predefined method of the scanner class. Similarly, to receive the decimal value, we can use next double predefined method of the scanner class. And there are many other such kind of predefined methods of the scanner class using which we can receive different types of user inputs. Now let me practically demonstrate how to receive the different types of user inputs from the user while the program is getting executed with the help of this scanner class. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where I'll create a new class. Right click and simply create a new class. I'll just name this class as, okay, different inputs scanner demo, okay? Now I'll just select this public static void main so that the code will be auto-generated for the main method. Now clear this stuff, okay, clear this stuff, save this. Now what you have to do is, now what you have to do is here, first create an object for the scanner class. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. Scanner is a predefined class in Java, which will provide you a lot of predefined methods using which we can receive different type of user inputs from the user while the program is getting executed. Over the mouse on the scanner class, and uh, import this scanner class from java.util package as suggested. And here, this constructor cannot be empty. Here we have to type system.in. Okay, just type system system.in. Now use scanner dot, scanner dot, what type of input? For example, if you want to only intake a single word, okay, a single word, then we have to use next. It will only intake a single word from the user, okay? String format, single word from the user. Only one word need to be entered, then fine. So here I'll just provide something like this, uh, like uh, system.out.println, okay? System.out.println. I'll just uh, provide something. Let's say otherwise, uh, I would like to receive the entire sentence, let's say. Instead of next right, I'll use next line, okay? which will receive the entire sentence in a string format, okay? Next line will receive the entire sentence in a string format, okay? Not single word, but entire sentence in string format. For example, here, I'll just say, uh, you know, uh, enter any sentence. The suggestion I'll give in the output, by looking at this, user will try to type some sentence. That sentence will be captured by this next line method, and we can store that, okay? So user input, I'll say, user input one, I'll say, okay? And I'll print it out. I'll print it out here. User input one, I'll print it out, okay? Done. After that, the next uh, predefined method we have, okay? Apart from the next line, to collect the user input in the form of string format, here the entire sentence is in the string format. But if there is no sentence, but only single word in string format is there, instead of next line, we can go for the next method, okay? So let's collect the user input in string format, but only a single word. Enter your favorite color. Let's say this is a thing I'm asking the user and user has to enter a single word of the color. Scanner dot, instead of next line, I'll use next because it can only intake single word. String, I'll simply say user input to is equal to, and I'll just print it out, System dot out dot print here. Here, favorite color of the user is like this, I'll write and say plus 
this user input to I'll give it here. That color will be printed. Okay, whatever the user entered that color red, that color will be printed. Now, not only we can receive the input in the string format or text format, we can also receive the input in other use, other data types like you know integer, boolean, decimal, and so on. Okay, I'll I'll show you the integer. So here I'll write down um, system dot out dot print ln. Enter your favorite number. Okay. Enter your favorite number. So the user will try to enter the uh, numeric value here. So that I would like to collect. So for that, I'll simply say scanner dot next. Here you see next, next line is over. So I'll just go with next int. This time next int. You see next int. This will receive the number in integer format and uh, here int user input 3 ILC. Okay. Now system dot out dot print here. Favorite number of the user is of the user is plus plus user input three. Done. This is also done. Now what next? So scanner dot next int is over. Next, uh, if you want to receive the user input in Boolean true or false format, then we have next Boolean method. So for that, I'll create an example. Do you like, okay? Something I need to ask, okay? Uh, do you like milk, okay? This question I'll ask, okay? A lot of people, some people may like milk, some people may not like milk, okay? So by looking at this uh, question in the output console, the user will try to input is uh, okay. Specify true or false. Okay. If true means uh, you like milk. Okay. You like milk. Question mark. True or false. Okay. Type true or false. Like this, I'll just write something. So by looking at this, if the user likes milk, true will be written. If user doesn't like milk, false will be typed, okay? For that to receive that boolean value, true or false, scanner not, scanner dot next boolean, okay? Next boolean, predefined method of the scanner class can be used. And here I'll write boolean, user input four is equal to, now system dot out dot print ln, Okay, so user, uh, I'll write the logic like this. If user input four, if it is true means, if it is true means what? System dot out dot print ln. User likes milk. Okay, otherwise else. System dot out dot print ln. User doesn't like like milk okay doesn't like milk like this i'll write the code now any other types decimal type if you want to go with uh, receive the user input in decimal format we can use next table okay so system dot out dot print ln what is the mileage of your car okay I'm asking this question to the user. User has to enter scanner dot next double. I will take okay next double and here uh, double user input five. Here I'll simply say system dot out dot print ln mileage of the user's car is plus user input five. Okay, mileage will be general in decimal format, so I'm just giving that. Like that, many other types are there, guys. Okay, and not only this specified or demonstrated uh, input types. Okay, scanner dot. If you see, if I type next year, you'll get a lot of methods like next. Next is already covered. Next, uh, big decimal, big integer, big integer, boolean. Boolean is covered. Next byte is there. Okay, you see, like that, many methods are there. Next double, next float, floating also is there. Okay, 
next line is covered next long is there next short is there okay next short is there like that many methods are there guys but important ones i covered in this session so finally i'll simply say scanner dot close i'll close this uh, object okay just to avoid the memory leak and all now run the code and see what's happening right click run as your obligation enter any sentence okay have to enter any sentence. I love Java programming. Okay, this is the sentence I am giving. The moment I press enter, you see, I love Java programming on printed. Now enter your favorite color. So I have to enter black. Let's say black. Favorite color of the user is black. Enter your favorite number. I'll enter nine. Favorite number of the user is nine. You like milk? Milk? Type true or false. False. I don't like milk. Okay. User doesn't like milk. What is the mileage of your car? My mileage of the car is 14.56. Let's say. Okay. Mileage of the user's car is 14.56. All the type of values have been taken. So that's it, right? No more questions asked. Uh, you see, it's working fine. Okay. Different type of user inputs we collected with the help of predefined methods of the scanner class. So hope is you got the answer for this question. I told you, right, there are many other predefined methods like uh, next float, next shot. Okay, there are many other next uh, load is there, next uh, short is there, next byte is there, next byte is there, and many more are there, and many more, and many more methods are there. Okay, predefined methods of the scanner class are there in Java to receive different type of user inputs from the user. Okay, while the program is getting executed with the help of the scanner class. Okay, so that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.